Hello everyone, it's Tommy from Tommy's Reptiles. In today's video, I'm gonna be feeding all of my animals. First, I'm gonna feed all the animals that live outside, then I'm gonna go inside my reptile room and feed all of those animals. But before I get started on this video, I wanna give a special shout out to my buddy Jack, who watches my channel and also likes reptiles. Thanks for watching, buddy. High five. All right, first we're gonna feed my box turtles. We'll start with the younger one. As you can see, he's already waiting by his food dish, so let's give him some food. Today, he's getting some aquatic turtle food. I just dump it in there and then I spray it down to make it nice and damp so it's easy for him to chew. Once he gets the smell of it, he'll go right at it. Let's face him towards the food so he can see it. I guarantee that he grabs one of them, runs away and hides. There he goes, he's getting a scent. He's getting a whiff of it. He's eyeballing it. There he goes. He's gonna grab it and run. There he goes. And then I'll come back and get the other two later on. Well, I guess he's not gonna run. I like feeding these aquatic turtle pellets because they're packed with nutrients. I also feed these guys other things like fruits, veggies, and uh, occasional insects. But they really love this aquatic turtle food. It's the staple of their diet. Wow, he's really going to town on that thing. Good job, little buddy. All right, let's leave him alone so he can eat in peace and we'll move on. Next up is my other box turtle. Let's try to get him out of that little hide. Whoa, that was fast. I'm gonna give him a couple worms and then some aquatic turtle food also. But he really loves chasing those worms. I like feeding these guys bugs. It gives them something to chase, it gives them some enrichment, and it's fun to watch. Let's see if he eats out of my hand. Whoa, there you go. Man, he was really hungry. All right, let's give him one more worm. Let's make him work for it though. Good grab. All right, let's give him some aquatic turtle food right here. Man, he's really hungry. They look like little meatballs. All right, guys, let's leave this guy alone. Let him eat in peace like the other one and move on to the other animals. Next up is my adult female diamondback terrapin. Let's get her to work for it. Whoa. There you go. Grab it. Man, her shell needs to be cleaned off. It's nothing a toothbrush can't handle. Let's try to get her a, um, another worm. You want one more? All right, I'll give you one more worm. That's it though. Good grab. Now she'll go in the water and eat it. Turtles, uh, aquatic turtles like to eat food underwater. It's easier for them to swallow. And then after that, I'll just give her some turtle pellets also. This girl's a great eater. She's gonna tear through all of these turtle pellets. Look at her go. She's an eating machine. Out of all my animals, she's definitely my best eater besides my dog.
All right, let's move on to the other aquatic turtles out here. Next up in here, we have one Belize slider and two Mississippi map turtles. Uh, one of the map turtles always hides, so we'll see if that one comes out. But I know the Belize slider is always up for a good meal. You can see the little map turtles right under that slider. And when he feels comfortable, he'll come up and grab a snack also. Well guys, the map turtles aren't coming out to eat today. I bet they'll eat right when I walk away, but I'm gonna leave them alone and let them enjoy some food. I'm gonna bring my monitor lizard outside to eat. Come on, buddy. He doesn't want to come, but let's go. We got Walter outside. Let's put him on this table and give him something to eat. There you go, Walter. Good job, buddy. He eats anything from quail eggs to small mice, frozen thought, of course, um, fish, and sometimes I scramble his quail eggs and shrimp. Good job, buddy. Let's bring you back inside and feed the other animals. We're back in the reptile room. The first animal we're gonna feed inside of here is my Brazilian rainbow boa right in this enclosure down here. I can already see him poking his little head out of that hide, so I think he's ready to eat. His menu consists of medium frozen thawed mice. Whoa, that was fast. And that's a wrap. <laughs> Let's move on to the next animal, which are three Alcope dart frogs. These guys eat wingless or flightless fruit flies, dusted with calcium powder, and once in a while, dusted with some vitamin A. Here they come. They spend most of their time hiding in that cave. And when there's a nice snack, they'll come out and eat and then go back to the cave. They're very skittish, frightened animals. All right, let's go feed my other poison dart frogs. So these poison dart frogs are on my bottom shelf right here. And then my other dart frogs are over here on top of the lizard lounge. The dart frogs in here are both Dendrobates tinctorius. One is a green Cipolloweeny, this one you see back here. And then the other one right here is called an Azurius. They're not scared and they'll eat right in front of me without hiding. These frogs have very good appetites. They'll eat all of these flies within the next 20 to 30 minutes. There's the other one. Next, let's feed my frill dragons. We'll start off by feeding my adult frill dragons, which are in these two enclosures right here. First, we'll start on the left-hand side, feeding my adult male frill dragon named Moth. He's the first frill dragon I ever got, and I've been currently nursing him back to health. He's had some stuck shed, so I've been giving him daily baths. We're gonna give him some hornworms. This is what he's been liking to eat lately, and it's, it's good for him. It's got some calcium, and it's the only thing he'll really eat on his own. Other than that, I've been having to force feed him uh, mealworms and crickets and stuff. But there he goes, this is a good sign. Good job, Moth. I'm gonna coat this last big one with calcium powder and some vitamins for him. Good job, buddy. Get ready for your soak. Next up on the right, we'll be feeding my female frill dragon named Rattle right here, and her boyfriend, Squishy, right here. Their menu today is some calcium and vitamin dusted super worms. Come on, buddy. Go get it. Wrong way. <laughs> that is not an exit. Let's see if you can figure it out.
There you go, buddy. All right, that's enough for you, bud. Now that Squishy's out of the enclosure, let's see if we can get her to eat. We'll put some on this cork bark right here. There she goes. Now that she's in eating mode, we'll give her a couple more. All right, let's go feed the other dragons. All right, Squishy, go back in your cage. Go back in your cage, buddy. Come on. Good job. Next up are my other two frilled dragons, which are both juveniles, and I think they're both females. Here's the little one right here, and the slightly bigger one up here. I don't think the little one will eat on camera, but we'll get this one to eat. There you go. Have at it. Time to move on to the next animals, which are right down here in a 60 gallon aquarium that houses various African cichlids in a northern diamondback terrapin. All right, first let's give these fish some fish food. Now let's give my turtles some turtle food. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Got stuck under there, that's funny. All right, next up over here is my new addition, which is my baby spotted turtle. And now on to my last animal, my dog Pongo. Good boy, buddy. <laughs> I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for watching Tommy's Reptiles.